In the first video in this series on the theology of music, I asked the question, why is it that music can grip us and move us so? How is it that music can have such an effect on our surrounding, on our words? We can sing banal words, but when we put them to music, they're elevated and they, they mean something to us and they grip us in a way they can't if they are just spoken. And I think the reason for that is because our appreciation of music and our love for music is part of our being made in the image of God. Our God is a God who loves music, a God who sings. Uh, the Bible often talks about the voice of the Lord. The voice of the Lord in Psalm 29 is the voice that shatters the cedar. The voice of the Lord is the voice that causes the deer to calf. As, uh, sopranos can sometimes break uh, uh, champagne glasses with a, high, with a high C, but God breaks the mountains and breaks the trees with his voice. And it's not just a spoken voice. God thunders and sings. He sings a variety of different kinds of music. He sings over his restored bride in Zephaniah 3. Uh, he sings a song of exaltation and victory and recovery. He sings a love song. The Song of Songs is the love song between Yahweh and his people, uh, between the king and his, and, and his bride. And Yahweh is the king of Israel, and Israel is his bride. He sings love songs. He sings laments. Isaiah 5, the song of the vineyard, when uh, Isaiah records the song of the Lord over the vineyard that he cared for and planted and, uh, and, and uh, protected and set a wall around. He's done everything for his vineyard, and yet the vineyard doesn't produce the kind of fruit that he wants. And the Lord sings a lament. Uh, he sings like uh, his, his voice wails like flutes over the rebellions of Moab, according to Jeremiah. The Lord also plays musical instruments, or at least his voice sounds like musical instruments. He sounds with the voice of a trumpet at Mount Sinai. And the sound of his voice is so strong and powerful and piercing that Israel doesn't want to listen to it anymore. They want to, they want to hide from the voice of the Lord. The reason music moves us is because God himself is a singer and God himself appreciates and responds to music. At the climax of the temple dedication in the book of Chronicles, Second Chronicles, we read that the Lord, uh, that, that Israel not only offered huge amounts of sacrifice, you have smoke rising up to the Lord, but the Levites and priests are also raising their voices and raising the music of their instruments up to the Lord. And the Lord responds to that in fire. He gives a fiery applause to Israel's music. The reason we respond to music is because we're responding to a little glimpse, a little a voice, a little whisper of God's own voice when we listen to music because we serve and worship a God who sings.